Good afternoon. I've been racing around like a lunatic this morning, not because we're going away this afternoon, but because uh, my mother-in-law is coming here to look after the kids uh, and they're staying here for two days. So um, I've been desperately trying to get the house in some sort of order uh, to avoid any criticism later on. <laughs> um, but um, that said, we are going away tonight. Uh, we're heading up um, to Manchester. So uh, if you don't know, we live on the south coast. We're driving up to Manchester. Now going up, we're going to stop on the way. We've booked a, an Airbnb property. I've been in touch with the um, chap that owns it. And he said there's no issues at all um, plugging the car in there overnight while we're there. Now I've just been looking at the route and it's saying it's 133 miles. So uh, that's looking at Google Maps. I, I then use generally PlugShare um, to find the best charge points to, to charge at your you know, en route. So I'm um, looking at um, the route that I've been uh, suggested here. It, um, it takes me along the A34 initially and I'm, I'm hoping I've got enough charge to get to um, Sutton Scotney. And then stop number two, my hope is I can get uh, reasonably close to where I'm going. Now if I can get to Warwick North, which is a welcome break service station, uh, then hopefully I'll have enough charge when I get to my destination, which isn't too much further, that actually I don't need much charge overnight. Two stops en route uh, will probably add about an hour to my journey. That's the plan for tonight. And then tomorrow we're going to um, do the second leg up to Manchester. Uh, we've got a night out there. It's a friend of Sarah's 40th birthday. So um, there'll be some uh, partying tomorrow night. And then uh, hopefully Sunday, uh, a good breakfast and then mid-morning we'll set off. Uh, and I'm going to do the whole journey from Manchester back down to the south coast uh, in one hit. And uh, I looked at it a minute ago. The distance for that is 245 miles door to door. So that's probably going to be, I'm going to guess, four charges. If I stick to my rules of uh, don't push the car to its limit, always stop one charger short of the furthest one I can reach, and then I've always got a backup plan. See you later. <laughs> Well, I went and did exactly what I said I wasn't going to do. I pushed on to a service station. I've got um, 11 miles left to go. Uh, to be fair, I was on the app, had a look. It all looked um, everything free and working. Um, and it's a service station I've used before in the past and I've never had a problem here. Uh, so we've arrived. Uh, as I say, I've got 11 miles left. I've done about 63 miles so far. Um, and uh, the two Ecotricity pumps here are both in use at the moment. Uh, one guy's just plugged in, the other's on about 90%. So hopefully he'll be back um, quite soon. But so far, motorway speeds, um, nothing of any interest. Hopefully we'll get a charge here and something to eat. Um, and then one more stop before we um, get to our destination tonight. So I'm going to have a look now and just see how far I can push on uh, without being silly so that I've hopefully got a reasonable amount of charge left when I arrive tonight uh, and then it's just a little top up when I get there. We made it and um, it's very very nice. I'll show you around in a sec. We, um, after the last stop that I had uh, we stopped again Basically, we, we could have just about made it, but we would have been drifting in here on the um, probably the last electron, to be honest. And what I didn't want to do is get here and then have trouble plugging it in. Um, it was clear that he had never had anyone here in an electric car before, and um, I, I wanted just to make sure everything was okay. So we had a 10 minute stop, got charged up to about 50%, got here on about 40%. Uh, so if there was an issue, we could have got to a charger tomorrow. One moment. Yes, please. Which one on this one? Uh, that's gin and Sicilian lemon, and that's rum and coke. Rum and coke, please. Thank you. Uh, so anyway, we got here and no issues. It's plugged in, it's charging up. So it'll be ready in the morning. Um, a very, very nice couple and um, a very, very nice room. Let me show you around. I'm uh, lounging in the uh, cinema area. <laughs> um, ready for the morning coffee machine obviously you know me well um, and then through here a very nice bedroom so um, I think once again 
Airbnb has um, done us proud and uh, we found out apparently there's a nice place to eat in the morning for breakfast. Uh, we saw the castle lit up in Warwick here on the way through so I think we're going to have a leisurely morning tomorrow, have breakfast, drink some coffee, look at the castle and then head on up to Manchester. Morning and to be honest it hasn't worked out too well this morning. We um, obviously had a lovely night and the place was fantastic but the uh, car didn't charge overnight. so. Um, we're now having to reassess our route this morning, which isn't too bad. Uh, not far from where we're staying, there is a, a rapid charger. So we're gonna go and grab some breakfast and head out there. But um, yeah, it's just as well we stopped last night, last thing, because I'm, I've still got about 35, 40%, uh, which will get us there easy. Uh, it just puts an extra little stop in today that we were hoping we wouldn't have to worry about. But um, for now, I'm gonna go and get some breakfast. Well, we're about just over 40 miles up the road from the last stop and um, I'll be honest, this is the first stop. <laughs> we're about 40 miles up the road from the last stop and I'll be honest, this is the first stop where actually we didn't need to stop at all. It, um, it almost feels like a bit of a wasted um, stop really. We're sat here for probably half an hour, 40 minutes, just waiting for a charge. Uh, the next stop is probably just over 50 miles. We're gonna get to Nutsford. So we're just north of Birmingham at the moment, just over 50 miles to Nutsford. Uh, and then that should give us enough charge that when we arrive in Manchester, we, um, the next morning we're gonna have plenty to get back to another charger. We've just been put out this morning because it didn't charge overnight to be honest. And that's kind of put us back a whole charge and 40 minutes to an hour by the time we'd stopped and had coffees and stuff. So um, yeah, just a little bit of a pain this one, but you know, we're still not even lunchtime. We've got the afternoon to get there. We're gonna get there in plenty of time. And um, yeah, it's still quite relaxing really. <laughs> <laughs> At Knotsford, um, we've, what was that, about 50, just over 50 miles. Um, it's quite interesting, we would, I've limited myself to 70 mile an hour just because I kept following the flow of traffic and getting a bit carried away. And of course it saps the range. Uh, so um, I was doing 70 mile an hour. I was, the guesser meter was showing that I was gonna get to this um, service station with about 10 miles left. And then we hit quite a long stretch of 50 mile an hour. Um, and it had all the average speed cameras, so I limited myself to 50. Uh, that actually put another 15 miles of range on. So it shows the difference between 50 and 70 mile an hour, how much quickly or how much more quickly the range disappears. Uh, but um, we are nearly 80%. It's um, about 20 miles to the hotel. So um, I'm more than enough now. So next stop is Manchester. So there you go, we've arrived, we managed to get into town to have a drink and meet up with everybody. But um, we're going to head back now and get ready for tonight and um, hopefully have some good birthday celebrations. But as far as the journey's concerned, uh, I actually quite enjoyed it. I, I didn't mind the kind of every 50-ish miles stopping, uh, not necessarily even having a coffee, just getting out, having a leg stretch. Um, if I was to be critical, I'd say you know, 20 minutes probably would be the maximum. Uh, anything beyond that, and you do find you're kind of just waiting around a little bit. And uh, I think Sarah certainly found that more than me. She definitely started getting a little bit fed up, especially towards the end. And as she was thinking about, actually, we've got to go from Manchester all the way back to um, the South Coast tomorrow. That's a long old trip with probably four stops, probably 40 minutes a time. Uh, she's not as happy as me about that and i kind of get that you know sat in the passenger seat it probably will get quite boring that said 
the journey up was really good. The um, accommodation last night at the Airbnb was, other than the charge not working, and I'll be honest, that's probably my fault. I didn't check that actually, although I plugged it in, it was charging. Um, they're happy for you to charge an electric car there. And I'll, um, I'll put the link in the um, description below. So if you want to have a look, then um, you can see where we stayed. Um, but yeah, so tomorrow uh, we haven't got a charge here in Manchester. I've just parked in a car park because it was substantially cheaper than the car parks with the charge points in. So we'll, um, we've got enough to get back to Nutsford, so we'll charge there and then we'll start our journey home. For now, if you've enjoyed today's vlog, um, remember to like and share it. And if you're not doing so already, subscribe to the channel. And I'll um, see you again tomorrow. Take care.